Hey folks, before I start the video, quick shout out to this guy named Eric H. He's one of my subscribers. He did a cool thing last week. Last week when I was talking about YouTube changes to their partner policy, how you need a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of views, he actually went over to his channel where he's got a few hundred subscribers and asked his subscribers to come check mine out and bring me over the thousand subscriber mark, which he did and I appreciate it tons. Go check out his channel. If you like EVs and that's why you're here for the Soul EV and stuff like that, check out his channel. He's got a Hyundai Ionic and it's EV fully electric. Go check out his channel. He talks about range and stuff like that and he lives in Southern Ontario too. Do me a favor, if you like his channel folks, subscribe to it. It'll be doing him a big huge favor and it'll be a repayment from me to him. Okay, here's the video. It's starting right now. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Got an, maybe an interesting video for some. A couple days ago, or I think it was yesterday, I was on the uh, Facebook group Kia Soul EV and I saw someone posted something about uh, driving down a highway when someone's um, on their butts. I don't know, I'm not sure if they use the word butts. And um, to deter them from doing that, they would throw the car in reverse and watch the reverse lights come on and uh, scare the crap out of the people. I didn't think that could be done, but then when you think about it, the electric car, it doesn't have a transmission per se, like a regular car, so maybe it can. Let's test it out. As you can see, I am driving. I won't go too, too, too fast. I will do 50 kilometers an hour. I will throw the cruise on 54. So as you can see, we're doing 54. I will go down as you can see that I am in drive. Now let's put it into reverse. The camera comes on. As you can see, the reverse camera comes on. It's showing that we're driving. We're still in reverse and we're doing 50 kilometers an hour. Actually, we're not. We've uh, come off cruise control and now we're just coasting. But we're still going forward. We're not in drive. That would make sense. We're just coasting. We're slowing down. Let me put it back into drive. And uh, now we've engaged uh, the motor and now we're going. What I would like to see is actually if the uh, reverse lights come on. And to do that, we need to go outside of the car. Just before we go to the outside view, let's uh, give this one more try doing 40 something kilometers an hour I'm in drive or B I'm now in reverse and there's the camera for you showing that it, we're in reverse thinking we're in reverse but we're driving as you can see and uh, we're still going we're slowing down because we're not in the gear and now I'm coming up let's see what happens when I come up to a stop okay now I'm at a stop I'm still in reverse if I give it uh, the accelerator, oh yeah, see now I start moving. Now the car thinks I'm in reverse. Very interesting. Let's see if the lights come on on the back though. Okay, I'm driving along in drive and now I'm in reverse. Okay folks, as you can see, it actually works. Why you'd wanna do it uh, that's debatable. You don't want to piss people off. You don't want to create a uh, confusion on the road But like I said on Facebook They were talking about when people are riding your butt and you want to get them off your butt as funny as it sounds I don't recommend it. I wouldn't do it um, And you know what the jury is out. I don't know it, it I did it there and nothing seemed to have happened but if you don't want to mess with your warranty, you don't want to screw around with stuff, and you don't know what the long-term effects are, I wouldn't recommend it. I only did it so you don't have to. In, let's just say, for the sake of science. Okay, that's why I did it. So, that's it for this video, folks. Keep watching me, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you later. Take care.